you can see a uh, uh, battery charger there and here's an amp meter volt ohm meter whatever now you can see it so <coughs> most people are familiar with using volt ohm meter in the uh, volt ohms and milliamps plug so the red connector would normally be plugged in right next to the uh, black connector black connectors on common so for this particular test we're going to be testing brand spanking new harbor freight battery charger uh, I don't see the model number on it let's see Nope, usually it's on there, but uh, I don't see it. All right, well, I'll get it later and post it in the comments or whatever, but here we go. So once you connect this over here, then you need to connect. When we talk about series and parallel, a lot of people don't understand it, but you need to put your multimeter in line with the current so the current passes through. Now right, we're going to do that on positive side seems like it's be jerking everything around here so uh, now the battery term battery charger is on it's on two amps so I'm going to hook to the negative lead hopefully I'm staying out of the way I'm going to hook to the negative lead on the battery and hook to the positive lead on the uh, on the battery charger connectors and what you see here is 2.2 or so volts all right that's what's going through the battery charger into the battery and you can see over here that this is showing that it's given a hundred percent load or I'm sorry about 80 percent load which means that uh, uh, it's charging you know at the full two amps right here you see a little light says uh, check full green one full charge I'm sorry so it's red so it's charging at about 75 or a little bit more of its capacity. Right now we're at a little over 2.2 amps. Now we're going to push this thing up to 10 amps. Hook it up again. No voltage. Just what I suspected because the other day I hooked it up 10 amps, came out an hour later and nothing, uh, nothing made a difference. There's nothing going on. Now you do hear you do hear a slight switch inside but there's no activity on the meter on this meter and this meter here shows nothing's going on now I'm going to turn it up to its 50 amp boost and do the same thing now that's the noisiest boost I think I've ever heard and that, and that meter's jumping all up and down and I'm seeing somewhere between say 5.6 and 6.3 and that's only a load for some a duty cycle and then it'll shut off. So the 50 amp boost is not working either. Jumping all over the place. It should peg that and stay that way. Well, now it's moved out a little bit. Alright, now it's back to its regular charge state. Okay, back to two amps. Check it. And you know what? That's when the last one of these I had. That's when it died. It died after I used the boost on it. So that one's fried now too. Well, I'll be down. So, sorry about that. I uh, didn't notice I didn't have the uh, meters where you could see them. This is the way you would normally use the meter on DC uh, DC volts or AC over here uh, 250 whatever or you would uh, use it uh, on ohms. That's what most people are familiar with. But anyway you'll have to move it off of the volts down here below the DC A, DC amps down here, these are all milliamp settings. There's your 10 amp. 
I don't know why it doesn't want to. There's your 10 amp setting right there. There it went. It focused. Okay, this is normal setting for your voltage and ohms and all that. You see where it says 10, 10 amp DC, 10 ADC? That's the setting you use with this. All right, this is your normal volt, ohms, and milliamps. Black is your common. So when we do the next test, all I'm doing is moving this red terminal from here to here on the 10 amp, uh, the 10 amp DC on this this section here. Put it on DC amps, 10 amp. All right, I didn't make that clear in the video because you couldn't see what I was doing. Cheers. Back to the video.